Welcome back, hello again. You're watching the Gonzo Ewok channel. My name is Ewok. And my name is Gonzo. And this is another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. Okay, so, end of last episode, we... Did this. Uh, yeah, we yeah. did this. You said for me to do something strange with the foundations, and now something weird's happened. Yeah, it's not liking it. Woo, don't scrap the walls that are already there. Um, fuck it, you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm pig sick of this business going on. So... I'm just, I'm going to demolish it. Get rid of that one. Where are you going? Keep it all away. Um, I mean, it's probably not the best time to knock a wall to the outside. No, actually, no, just let them get rid of that. It might just do watch it, them you know. carefully. Uh, and that may do it, you know. Um, where's all my workers? Piss horsing around outside on the road. What are you doing? Oi! Someone will come. Job here for you. What are they doing? I mean, there's nothing else being built, is there? No, I can't see any of them. It's it's almost as though oh, here we go. they don't understand what what's going on. Oh dear. Okay, now, th there we go. Phew. Phew. Right. Okay, that's nice. That's not nice. That's stupid. Um, well, that, that would be the problem, wouldn't it? Demolish those bits. Demolish those bits. You've got the door. That should be okay. Get now, the door there. doesn't want to close at the moment. I think it's because there's, like, foundation panel and stuff there. Um, I'll give them plenty of time to get in, and then I'm going to start plotting out these doors. And these walls, even, just for the cell block. Um, aside from getting that cell block sorted, you know what? I mean, the prison itself is kind of taking care of business right now. We're doing okay. Um, place is keeping clean, keeping on top of food if we have a quick look at the needs. Um, exercise is an issue. Oh yeah, because I got rid of a lot of the uh, weight benches. That's a good point. Recreation's an issue, but it's being worked on. You know what I mean? People have just came out of like shower time and lock up. So it's bound to be a bit of an issue. Hopefully they can take care of it. We have got the weight benches though. So Get a few of them set back up. Aye. Uh, I think it's there you put them, isn't it? No, I think they're back on there. I think there. Yeah. Um, where else can we fit a couple in, maybe? Just so the yeah. Uh, Remember, it's a temporary yard. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just so the sniper's got something to watch. Just keep your eye on that door. So I'm a bit worried time. about that uh, double prison door. It's fine, they just need that shifted, I think. Yeah, but at the moment, it's a massive hole in your prison security. Oh, yeah, that's a very good point. Aye. Now, none of the prisoners seem to have realised it yet. <laughs> no. There. Uh, worker! There <laughs> we go! Right, that's <laughs> episode, yeah. So, next one. Yeah, this episode probably is going to be a bit... A bit of a builder. Buildy. I we need to get these uh, these walls up and running. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do my old patented and draw in the middle. Click there. I really need to pause it, you just go regular one time on this. I know, but when I do that, they'll start doing something fucking silly. Like, they'll build all of the middle bits, like those bits, while I'm putting them down. I know that's what they'll end up doing. Okay, sorry if you can hear kids screaming outside. I think they must have just uh there. Kids, I thought it was cat. <laughs> yeah, let's see. No, about the, uh, the quality of me neighbours. Quality of me neighbours, Ewok. Um, get those bits in. That should be okay. Those bits will be for solitary. Nice. Somebody's got a spoon, but that's sacriel. No, it's just in some potatoes. No, a spoon smuggled in. Um, okay, then. So. And get your wibbly wobbly dory bits. Isn't this nice? Nice, relaxing gameplay. Not getting panicky. Yeah, we're we'll managing okay, yeah. Whoops. Oh, no, nah, it's ruined. Knock it all down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I um, don't need that one now, do I? No. Okay, cool. Liking it. It's a bit of a strange way for them to head around. 
It is uh, temporary. Aye, but we'll we'll get that fixed up. Um, Start dropping your your toilets and whatnot. Oh, hang on. Have you seen your cash? Aye, that's a bit bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine. You know what? We have enough to start kitting these rooms out and get more prisoners and get in. Get more prisoners in. Money. Um, right. I can't help but notice that you have thirty-four out of thirty-five prisoners. Have a quick look over at the morgue. Um, nobody's in the morgue, so I'm not able to see. Maybe someone was just released. Let's have a look. Three prisoners up for parole. We had two. Um, it would it normally would have warned us if somebody had uh, just escaped. Been shanked. Well, if you go on valuation, if someone's died in the last 24 hours, you don't get a, uh, it'll show up on your valuation. No? No, no deaths and no escapes. Very Although odd. the value of your prison has dropped. Uh, um, actually, no, it hasn't. Uh, it's because your on hand cash has dropped and that's included in your valuation. Okay, then. hang on. We're going to have to be on the spot for this one. Sixty-five. Some expensive pipes. Do you really want to drop the big pipes down the middle? Yeah, People because we'll roll through them. Yeah, but we need those pipes going up the top because these little pipes will not carry yeah, the water. You could have put it around the outside. Too expensive. Not um, too expensive. This is where they're going. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not where they should be going. It's where, well, it's where they are, isn't it? So just learn the deal. Um, yeah, that'd be alright. We want the back walls. Um, we have to do this on a budget, given cash flow at the minute. Get those in there. So, how much is this going to cost? We need a bed. Beds are 200. Bollocks. Jail doors, 200. So that's 400. For one. 500. So that's 500 a cell. I'm going to have 41 left if I build two more cells. Build two cells. Going to have to, aren't I? Right, bottom two. Um, no, that's not where I'm putting the. Right, they're gonna sleep here. With the toilet at the end of the bed. Aye. Um, and then jail doors. We've got one jail door that's already saved up, hey. uh, and we've got um, we've got a toilet as well. Have you got a bed too? Oh, that's not too bad. I might you can build, build another cell. Um, so, get that one in. They won't have any lights, but, you know. Oh, well, lights are in jail. 30 quid a pop. i give them a light. Because I'm just that nice a guy. And you still need to put a jail door on that third cell. You know what you haven't taken into account? What's that? The cost of the actual room tiles. Well, um, I don't think you've got to pay for that. You just mark them up as this is a cell now. Oh, excellent. Like oh, you, you have one dollar. <laughs> um, I think I can take a loan. I'm not sure if I've. Ah, uh, you haven't researched that yet, and it costs money to research. Ball bag, five hundred. <laughs> okay, we'll be fine. We're gonna have seventy-eight dollars by the end of this day. Not really much we can do here, folks. So we're just gonna have to speed things up and see how we get on. Hopefully, nobody dies. Somebody dies when deep shit. Yeah, or if you have to pay for anything like staff wages or. Well, that's all factored into it. My concern is, though, that my federal grant will drop if somebody kills somebody. Literally, if a prisoner decides that he wants to kill another prisoner, he's going to sink my entire prison. Are you allowed to run a deficit? What happens if you go oh, into a deficit? A little bit of cash. What was that from? Um, someone was Cash flow. Oh, have we got, have... Um, got stuff being made, maybe? No. I don't know where it came from. Maybe something got dismantled, but did you have things set up to be dismantled? Why are you putting everyone in laundry? Prisoners getting work in the kitchen. Um, if there's spare jobs on the go, I'm gonna let them do it. So four's the most we can have. That's untrained. You can just do that. So ten, three in there, three in there. Um, and only fit four in there. There's five people qualified for it, but four help out quite nicely. Um, the more prisoners who are doing stuff, the less chance they've got for hell raising. I. This doesn't look good. You keep a very close eye on the mom. God, he's tired. I wonder if anybody is doing anything in there. It's just the books are piled up. I don't know they are. It's just you don't have anyone in there, is it, to witness it? Um, 
I'll tell you what, in the programs, foundation, two people doing it. Just relax, you've got money, you've got 200. Cells is up and working, that's good. And to think, in the last episode I was like, oh, we'll get some nice tiles on the floor, we'll get some nice wood. Might have even been this episode. Um, and uh, as it turns out, you spent all your money. Well, yeah, but cell blocks are expensive and there's money-making potential here if I can only get enough cash to fill them. There's a point in this in a prison where you've gone as far as you can go and you have to sell up and use the, the, the money to start doing the next one. To start doing the next one. I hear you, but do you know what? Just because it's the first one that we've done on the channel, it's working out all right. I've grown attached to this at the do very you least. at least get that finished? Get that done. And then say, this is a complete prison. Yeah, I'll do a couple of little bits down in what is the yard here. So things like um, putting a sorting office in, maybe a shop up. A little couple of bits like that. Turn that into a big yard. Lots of stuff going on. Then we'll run the prison for a few days just to see how it's getting on. Say that's a work in prison. Then flog it. And then, you know what? We'll put it across to the viewers. Maybe look at um, potentially saying, well, do you know what? Ewok, do you want to come in build a prison? You can or do you, it and carry the series. Or I mean, or we will at some things. point. We will be getting the Kerbal. However, um, it's not in internal testing. Even at the point this video goes out, it probably will either just be going into testing. Um, or it's still maybe maybe hanging fire. And the other question is, do we start recording a new episode of Jolie Space Program when it's in testing, where there might be bugs, we might lose the save potentially? Do I have to just wait until it, you know, hits like a stable branch? I've, so I've, I've, all I've questions. Been during the the early up in I, I mean, at, at the very least, I think we should do a video to look at what's been added in one point one. Um, well, it's been scoped back, so it's mostly just going to be the the engine update, uh, which will add some. Extra potential in terms of modern, but that's not something that we we do in the series. Mm. We tend to play vanilla, mm. although it might be worth having maybe some of the playing around, playing around with some mods now. Maybe, maybe like not uh, not going extreme with like full on mech. In any event, so. you know what? We probably shouldn't talk about it because by the time this video goes out, it might have hit. There might be old news by the time where people see this. I mean, I think that's true. At the time you're seeing this, we've recorded this nearly three weeks in advance. Should yeah. also actually apologise if you've commented on either of the last two videos and said, "Why have you done this?" Um, we will we'll not have seen those yet. So apologies. We'll, we'll get, we'll get them. We we'll take your comments into account. We've got uh, pool tables in the yard. We did, uh, we did get your comment, Kirby, about uh, running shakedowns, but. Uh, as you can see from the last couple of videos, things are going pretty smoothly. We haven't needed it. No. What we've paused. Yeah. I've only got 33 prisoners now, Ewok. They must have been released. Three prisoners are up for parole. That yeah, hasn't changed. That's, that's parole, not release. Ah, oh, two prisoners have been released. No, oh, that's okay. The parole is for early release. Yeah. I was just thinking for some reason people might have escaped. No, but you, no you, you, I you, think we're well, okay. You get a warning of people that escaped. We've got five prisoners are coming in at eight. Oh, there you go. That'll be nice. You'll get some cash. Prisoners are being paid wages. We need a shop so we can get them to give us money. Yeah. We give them money um, and then I they build stuff. I don't know if you've noticed, but your cash flow has dipped to minus 42 now. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Actually, we're bringing in a bit of cash here as well. So you know what? Once we get over to capacity... Once you get that hurdle passed... Aye. That'll it's a shame there's not like a quadruple speed, so we can just get there. <laughs> just survive to Because there's kind of very little that can be done at this moment in time. Um, Do you have work in time, Dom? Yeah, yeah, we've got um, like a three hour shift, I think. Because there's no percentage um, progress gone towards those 30 license plates. I know, I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, and they I usually think... bring in metal plates, but they haven't. Like, you know, they've stacked wood up here. Yeah, and then. The prisoners use the wood. Uh, no, 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 there should be metal plates coming in for them to make licences. Right, add another table. Um, you say that like it's not like a sixth of the entire cash supply in the, in, in the world here. But um, you know what, I, I don't think we have got much of a choice. Um, I'm just added along the back, I've got plenty of room along the back. Right, up here maybe. Or like up here. Yeah, then you put a couple of tables in, and then when you're ready to expand, a couple of workbenches, then a couple of tables, you know, whatever. Just play it easy, play it safe. Okay. Um, in terms of objects... Maybe people didn't want the job. Maybe they wanted to train, but they didn't want the jobs. They're horrible, then. 
I haven't trained them for the hell of it. I've trained them so I can make us some license plates. You can make good money doing that. That used to be like an incredibly, almost like broken game mechanic. You could make like 10, 15 grand a day on license plates. And even after they nerfed it, it's still a really nice little feature. And um, with these built, hopefully they'll bring some stuff out of storage and put it down here. I'm hoping there's some metal plates somewhere. What are they made with wood? I know you can do advanced carpentry. The advanced carpentry, you then get like the carpenter's table, which is those ones, and the make you know, furniture you can you, make. You could sell all that wood. Aye, aye. You know what? That's not it's a bad idea. It's worth um, Sell a bunch of it. Get some cash in. Get some more. Because the reason they've stacked that there is because they chopped down some trees when they were building. So naturally they took the wood straight to the workshop. Aye. Now on... Um, on the one hand, it's like we could build the carpentry. They need to go through an advanced um, training course Aye. to do the carpentry. It would be nice to do that though, because then they can make things like chairs and benches for your prison. You can yeah. actually get good quality furniture in there. I would advise one thing at a time on that, because you've still got a contract to do the license plates. So at least wait until your grant comes out the way. I'm going to quickly pause it, because I think I can probably get another couple of cells on the go. Um, get the uh, toilet in. No, oh, that's the wrong button. I'm zooming out. Um, beds. Lights. Doors. And utilities. No, no. Sorry. Uh, you're not quite plumbed in right for the toilet in the second cell. Aye. Uh, drop that one there. Cool. Alright. Well, Spent a grand. Business. It's costing us a grand to get two cells basically set up from scratch. But that brings in a couple more. They'll not get in today because your prisoners are arriving now. Five there we go. 500 up and then we've got um, a two and a half grand up front. Okay. Hello. Fresh meat. Interesting. He looks mean. Christensen, Platten, Gall, Narciso, Wildy. Okay. Uh, what's going on there? Moonshine Brewer, Spuds Christensen. Spuds Christensen. <laughs> Spuds is a good name for a criminal. It is. Aye. So he's a local moonshine brewer. Um, he poisoned half the county. Got done for a. Uh, Abrogated fingers. Aye. That's the problem with these uh, yeah, wonderful bios. It, it really bios. I know why they did it. I totally appreciate it. Don't get us wrong. I'm not hating on anybody that did put their, um, you know, put their little bios into the game. But it's just like, you know what? It would be nice. And I know why you kind of turned it off. But it'd be nice if you could. Um, you know what? Because there hasn't been that much bother. I know we've like we've got some more solitary going up the top. But I think you're right. We can't totally get rid of this solitary here. Um, just be mindful that when you smash it down, that'll be a big hole in your security. Aye, aye. Um, but we can, we can get rid of just this bit. Um, yeah, I'll probably build like a temporary fence up here. Just while you're this man by. Just to make sure. Yeah, it's looking okay. It's coming on. Um, nip into patrols quickly. Um, regular patrols. Dog patrol. You just want to expand that a little bit. Oh, yes, I am. Exactly. So that it sense. covers your new cells. Do it up there for the time being. I will forget. So, uh, please remind I'll us. try to. I'll try to remember. Everything else is uh, absolutely fine and dandy. Um, how much are door servos? 200. We've got the cash. Whack one in there. Needs leggy. Doors. Cheapest to do it there. Cool. Mm. Nothing is happening. I've made it probably the world's best prison. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say it was the world's best prison. Everything's great. You still don't have a parole office, which I think is pretty important for a prison. Three. Oh, oh, him, 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 him. Zoom in. Sackfield's on the scene. Wallace. Wallace. Search him. He, uh, he went down to the bottom, picked something up, and then came back up. Sagriel has gone to pray. Uh, or he's got to do shady deals. Crocodile tears. Crocodile prayers is what he's doing. Phone. Phone. You dick. Aye. Oh, how eh? Your mum could at least be like keeping an eye on the corner. 
<laughs> Don't trust those religious types. You could say, well, maybe maybe not right now, but. Uh, Couple of people do. Oh, he looks. Bear in mind square that. headed fella, I didn't trust the look, the look of him. He's got £7.87 pence on him, or dollars. Uh, the teacher in. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, okay. what, was, what I was going to say is bear in mind that. Although I appreciate it's probably not the best idea to do it now, if you can't expand your security network in the near future, it'll spare up some of your guard capacity. Because um, at the moment you've got quite a few guards monitoring rooms like the chapel, uh, the classroom, that could benefit from... I hear you. I hear you. Parole needs to be 5 by 5 I was hoping I can do oh, it here. Of course he, he is. This thing? Every day. Every day. Um, I think uh, I think you should make a minimum security. <laughs> uh, no, um, that's that's not going to be a thing that happens. So you you visited prisons before, haven't mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. Um, not in the oh, incarcerated no. capacity. Yeah, gone out last Tuesday. <laughs> um, how, no, how, how, does, how does this stack up to your your real life uh, mm, prison? Not <laughs> not as well. I don't know because these are based on American prisons. I've only ever been in British prisons. Um, None of them look even vaguely like an actual real prison. But the thing is, you've got to remember, limitations of the game, it's all on one floor. And the thing like, I don't know if you look at something like Durham Prison, Durham Prison is in a city centre, and it's very small in terms of the area, um, but it's quite tall. You're talking like a wing's maybe six or seven storeys tall. Right. So they're all kind of built up. The other thing is, like, even a yard in an actual prison doesn't look like this. It's like a little rat's maze. You wouldn't have just one fence like that. You've got, like, say, between here and there, you've got to walk up and around and then through a gate and then down and around back on yourself and through a gate. Basically, within about two minutes of actually being in a prison, I was lost, and I couldn't tell you how to get back to the front door. Um, they're very well designed in real life. Um <laughs> Like Durham's like big yellow fences and you're walking around and you can see where you want to get to but you've got no comprehension unless somebody says you've got to go this way of how, of how you're going to get there. And if, I don't know, the fire had broken out and I was in there by myself and they were like, you've got to evacuate, I'd be like, I don't know how to do that. I, I've literally no I'd be cl- scrambling at the fences, getting caught on barbed wire. Um, so I, so I mean, in, in real life... Yeah, it's, it's nothing like it. But, I mean, this has got that kind of... You know, it feels very much like these are supposed to be American prisons. And, again, they're on one floor. So you're doing what you can with the game, really. Um, but if you were going to try and design something that looked real, um, it would be these fences. Like, would just be ridiculous. You'd have, around. Yeah, you'd have, like, 20 times the amount of fences here. And the other thing is, um, like... The, it just wouldn't work as a game either because it would take 20 minutes to get a prisoner from this door into the yard because they would have two guards escorting them um, you've got to have two people to open a door and close it um, in a lot of cases anyway and when you're moving everything around it's like yep yeah, you move into this next bit like if you imagine 20 airlocks to get them like a 10 foot stretch um, it's very very slow when I went in I was being shown by one of the prison members of staff who was a lady um, and when we went in she went oh I've, I've just got to quickly nip to my office to get me bag before we uh, before I take you on this tour um, and she was gone 45 minutes and she hadn't gotten lost or she hadn't stopped and nothing had came up it that was, was literally just, how just that how long it took her to get through the security to get to her desk and back and she's somebody who's got a key and can open stuff herself um, it is just properly balmy you know what your common room is pathetic sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is when you, when, you, when, when you think you've got 40 prisoners or 38 prisoners that's no good I yeah. just noticed that it was uh, free time and they all went to their cells some of them had a shower aye, aye. Um, and I don't think they're going to get the recreation needs that they need out of that um, well, let's have a look I mean it's not ridiculous Wayne. but yeah I think certainly for the size of the prison we need to do something else with this um, but what I really want to do is I want to get some sort of um some sort of um, parole going on. I think you're right, and I think this is the place to put it. Um, I know it's not even worth much yard, but I think this is just quite a nice, sort of central, quite secure location. Getting rid of those phones is a risky move. I know. I'm going to put some down here. Oh, oh, what's happened? Oh, there's uncon- There's been. We've missed a massive parole. I wonder if anyone spotted that going on in the corner while we were jumping away. 
Um, right, Snitch. Snitch. Well, Snitches uh, get stitches. He was one of the new ones. It's Widley and Wildly, as I always call them. Uh, Phoenix is on the scene. He's always hanging around with these little beady eyes. Um, Tim Keeble, unconscious. Oh, go back to Stuart, Keeble. Stuart Pierce, he's had a hand in it. Go back to Keeble. Evil bastard. Um, he's the unconscious dude. Beardo Bricker. There we are. Double murder. He's got 56 years. Perjury, assault in an office, carjacking, and double murder. What a hellish man. Everybody else just uh, took it a bit as they do. Oh, yeah, you've died over in the. It's not uh, the worst brawl I've seen in there. There's not quite as much blood as there was last time there was a kitchen. Cash brawl. flow has uh, stayed positive. I'm happy enough with that. Uh-huh. Right, so as we're demolishing the phones, um, I'm going to move them across. I had five of them. Five. Good plan. Cool. And then, as soon as we've got this demolished, slap some foundations down. Then we can. Uh, I think it was right not to get rid of the solid we just yet. It's uh, getting pretty crowded. <laughs> Will do. I mean, it'll cost five hundred a pop to put doors up the top, but if we need to, we'll put one or two if it really gets that busy. Right. Well, that's what you get, silly boy. Pierce as well, the sad thing is, during the daytime, he's been sitting, hit this chair, listen to that psychologist. Yeah, shit, mate. See what's happened. You told him about, don't be a bad boy, don't go stabbing uh, people up. What's he done? I believe he's that left. you uh, cancelled the behaviour therapy and replaced it with, uh, was it alcohol? I did for a couple of seconds and then changed it over. I'm sure we've still got the, the thing. We're having shame on us. Behavioural? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, uh, uh, he, he did it. He didn't pass. He's probably been that distraught that he didn't pass his behavioural therapy. He's went out and shanked a fool in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. oh, well. See, learning is dangerous. Um, five by five. Which means you need seven by seven. One wall on each side. Yeah, so that's where it will go, but that's going to cost 1600 I ain't got 1600 I don't have enough wood to sell either. What's this? Stack? No, that's wood. They're bringing more wood in. <laughs> we've got wood. We've cleared the wood. they brought more wood in. It's because there's a lot of... It's Sale price! 1200 Cha-ching! Look at this. It's just a license to make money. Get rid of all that. Bring more of that in for free, please. 1200 My God. Bloody hell. I need to cut down a few trees. We can sell that. That's good one enough. We'll bring right. more in. Oh, there's stuff going on in the metal detectors. 7x7. Seven seven. Um, I think we'll put a gel door on here. Um, well, gel door. Put it here. So if you're coming out, you're coming straight out in front of the sniper. Uh, it's a room that benefits from having a guard in it. Yeah, there's going to be a guard station in there. When people get turned down, they ain't Abbey. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I guess all three's actually room. full. I don't uh, know if there's anyone in the queue. Three prisoners up for parole. Three in lockdown, five in solitary. Doesn't say that there's anybody waiting. Usually it would up here. So I think that might be that we've caught everybody. Um, you like taking your breaks, don't you? Sharpshooter. We can't stay there for 24 hours a yes, day. Yes, that's what snipers do. You should be completely still. You don't even know he's there. And then the back of your head explodes. Oh, we are fags. But there's nowhere to go. You're just going to have to stay there. You could really sack Rhea. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. He's not in there anymore, actually. He's at large. <laughs> <laughs> he's never incarcerated. He's just plotting his next scheme. All right. More cells. Um, yeah, we'll get some more cells on the go. But you know what? I'm going to drop in the um, the room here for... And I think all that needs is a visitor's table. Visitor's table. Got to be five by five. Regular visitor's table. Um, that way around. Aye, that makes sense. Cool. Drop that in. And then get a guard. There's a guard there all the freaking time. Light in there as well. Oh, yeah. There we are. Parole. Parole. It's almost like it's a rehabilitation centre now. 
that really we've I've only had one shotguns. person die in like three episodes. I'm doing brilliantly here. It's the best prison. <laughs> it's, I still don't think your death rate's that good, you know. No, it's not, but it's it's improving. We're an improving prison. There's something going on outside that cell. Which cell? Where? Oh, uh, there we go. It was the, the the dog handler. He was having a bit of a wobble. I haven't found anything yet, mind, which is uh, just canny. Okay. Where is, where's that armed guard patrolling? Doesn't look like he's patrolling to me. Yeah, he is. I've, I've said it so he walks up to about here and then he turns back around and he walks all the way. That was supposed the to be the dog handler. No, um, the routes have merged, so the two of them are doing those routes. Oh, okay. Um, they're both like they're both kind of intermingled, but I don't mind. I um, wouldn't deal with that. Right. Toilets. Come on. Right. Um, and then doors. Doors and lights. I think electricity should be alright in terms of cabling. Yeah, that should be alright. Uh, don't forget to mark them up the cells. Good call. And if they can get them done in the next eight hours. Be a bloody miracle the way that uh, some of these people work. Hey, you're getting there, you're getting there, man. Oh, um, Inchant awards that uh, 40 point. You get a bit luck, uh, stuck there, did he? Yeah, I mean, he's well, he's got an absolute shot over route, really, any. he? He'll cover the outside. So all they need to do is wait till he's around the back of the library and then start stopping each other up. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, he'll come around the corner. As long as he can get a line of sight, it'll be fine. And there's a sniper there. I mean, this is a very safe little area, really. Have you noticed the blood? <laughs> ah, that's just somebody. <laughs> that's somebody who's been stabbed elsewhere. Who's made? Who's been broken through. through? Yeah, it's heading towards the doors. You see, um, it's probably a body. Imagine down here somewhere. Hey, your cells are finished. Ooh. Oh, hi, they are as well, aren't they? Get the toilet in. Capacity of 46. Nine. Hey, pause, pause, pause. That took less than four hours. You get yourself four more done. And you can get 20 grand. I'm going to struggle, but just don't have the cash to do it. Ah, well. Nah, you don't need to film them, you just need the capacity so you can sort it in the morning when you get your next batch in. Aye, this is it. That'd be quite nice. I think we're doing uh, pretty canny here, mind. I'm looking, uh, looking quite good. But I think been going on for quite some time with this episode yeah um, I think I think we're past the 30 minute mark I, I think we should call it here so next episode pick up where we've left off we'll get that intake coming in you um, finish cell block B I get the cell block done I think the other side of things we'll get maybe a start on here but we need cash so I'm going to have to have a bit of a think about how we're going to get our hands on cash quickly you're going to get 20 grand I, when you build four more cells so I suppose, I mean, 20 grand. The more, the more prisoners you've got in, the more often you'll be getting prisoners out. And then you'll be getting more prisoners in. Mm. And that creates a rolling effect. Uh, so I, I think doing all right. really we're at the point now where the prison has a sort of hit equilibrium. So I would be interested to uh, hear viewers' thoughts about what they think we should do next as well. This prison, I'd say probably in the next probably two to three episodes, probably keen to get wrapped up, get to the point that it gets sold off. And then whether or not people want maybe you to take over, see what you can do in terms of designing a new prison with the spoils. Yeah, and there's there's different things we can do with it. We can we can go all max sec. See how that goes. We get a women's prison. Aye, aye. Play around. But I let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um we hope you've enjoyed watching the video in any event. Um if you haven't already, you can hit that like button and um, subscribe if you haven't. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. We shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this Prison Architect video on the Gonzo Ewok channel. If you'd like to watch some Geordie Space program, click the video on the left. And if you want to watch one of our podcasts, click on the right. And you can always press that subscribe button. Thanks!